Welcome back today. We will draw today a winter landscape scene. This will be fun. Some snow and river and water, some trees in the background. So I think you will like that. It's a part of the advent calendar here on YouTube. 20 day, four days before Christmas, you get every day a new lesson here. So hit the bell and subscribe to my channel that you don't miss any video. And now let's start. Hello, in this tutorial we draw a winter landscape in an easy way. There is a bit of a river and some evergreen trees behind with snow. Let's make that fun. Let's take a black and sketch in a little bit where we would like to have the river. Sketch in a bit so in six lines the river bank maybe here one is going a little bit more into the right and then we have here so uh, parts where the water is going in and then let a bit space above here for the trees in the back and then add some zigzag lines on on the right here here let's go maybe add a bit land in front here and just draw so zigzag lines make it very easy and simple and oh, you could also add some stones or so little islands into the water for example and always the part here below that is darker so let's add here a bit shadow right away with a bit black at the lower parts here i use here the pit pastel pencil just plot in a little bit black at the lower um, parts of these um, river banks here Add darks at the lower part, just plot in some so dark strokes. The more we are coming backwards, the more so a bit foggy and blurry the background can be. And then you can take a white and also plot in a little bit here the snow on the land before we then plot in more snow on the fields just that we add here a bit land behind the river or sketch in a bit of the snow here on these little river banks here and also here in front we have here the snow here we have land with snow and also add a bit of snow on these little islands we have here in the water. And um, then we have some trees in the back. Let's start with some trees in the middle that are far away. I would say let's start first in the back with a blurry foggy background. Let's take a gray for that and let's add a bit gray with a stick, a pastel stick you have. I use here the Rembrandt soft pastel stick and plot in a little bit of gray here in the back. It's so a cold gray. It's a winter landscape, so you can work with cold grays. And then I use a, a soft blending tool, uh, these sponges, and make that um, blurry and soft and smooth. Just blend over the background here for creating a smooth background skies. This is working really well. We could also maybe brighten it up a little bit more with white, add a bit more white in the middle that we make here 
the background light gray but not white alone so mix the gray with the white a bit here you can move the blending tool also so in circles and then we have here a nice so cold foggy background blend it also a little bit here towards the left i want to to create to draw trees then here and take then let's say a pencil in a turquoise color it's so a helio turquoise and let's then draw here so a bit of a, a tree draw some strokes to the right to the left to the right to the left make them then longer the more you're coming downwards and add here so a bit so zigzag lines to the right to the left and i you can add some details on top and let's then also let's add here one add some little strokes to the left to the right press a little bit more here they can be then larger at the bottom longer and let's also they are here or they are more far away we will blend this then and make it a bit more blurry add here maybe a smaller one with little pressure a little bit more far away and then let's also add here another one move the pencil so a little bit in zigzag to the left to the right plot in here a bit of the helio to quas and i also add then here on the left one it does not have to be really very detailed here because we will blend that and make that a little bit blurry then we can also bring in let's take a bit of a warm gray the cup with the yellow warm gray and also bring in maybe here some strokes at the bottom with the warm gray in Add a bit gray also here below at the lower part of these trees because I want to make them here to appear far away and we make them then also a bit blurry but add a bit of the warm gray it does not have to be all so cold we add here then also maybe here a bit of the the gray color in the back plot that in here and also with the the turquoise again a bit bring in again a bit here of the turquoise color in does not have to be very detailed at that stage because we take then um, these blending tools or a cotton swab so I take a more narrow one so this one and I then and it is here I then just blend over a little bit and make them with very little pressure a little bit blurry you can then so put these blending noodles downwards and just make the bottom here by right? so tipping on it a little bit blurry you can here create so a bit more a fog 
or blend over the upper parts. We will do then them better with a with a paper stamp, but just make it here below a little bit blurry. It is here so uh, fog in the back. Make the back part here blurry. Also these trees that are here so far away. They are in fog. We don't see them a lot. Blend them here. We go over with the blending tool. Make them so really soft. We don't see a lot of details here on them that are so far away. You can take also a, a cotton swab and blend over the upper parts here a bit so that you don't uh, remove some of the finer strokes you have, but make them all so blurry. Bring them here a bit to the back. So maybe you would like to have some details. So you can use these cotton swabs. Maybe you would like to have some details in the trees that are in the fog. And then go in with the blue and add some so teeny tiny little blue lines or add some so smaller little branches here on top. And then go over with the cotton swab and make it also blurry. The more details you would like to have, you can for sure do that. Add so fine little branches here in the back or some darker little stains here and there. Maybe also here. But these trees, um, they are they, they should be really a bit blurry in the back. We don't see them here really very well. Blend over it again and make it here really a bit so blurry. Then comes the next stage, and we draw some trees on top that are a bit more better visible. Okay, we take here. Let's take here the black and mix it then with a, a green or a blue. And then let's add here, let's add here a tree that is more detailed. There you can move the pencil so upwards and downwards and add a bit so here, so these uh, branches downwards that are, let's draw it until here, that are here, maybe a bit broader and we can make them more detailed and add then also a little bit snow on top. So these trees are more visible and more in front. I just move the pencil here a bit upwards in zigzag upwards and downwards to the left a bit and to the right here below we can add then a bit more shadow and add so a tree with that is more visible then also let's bring in here one let's add here one that is also a bit more far away but is overlapping the ones in the back. This one we could make a little bit blurry. Move the pencil here so to the right, to the left. Bringing in here a little bit of that tree. But also Let's use a bit of a dark green, a pine green, not only the black and plot it here in a bit. Go over with the green. 
and make that little tree here a little bit more opaque, not so transparent, but it's it's overlapping. You all the the trees that are more near of us are darker, and trees that are far away are more blurry and most times so bluish. We can then either go over that with, for example, a cold gray and swipe over it a little bit and make it a bit blurry. That's also possible, so to, to bring it a bit more into the back, make it a bit blurry with a cold gray. Here. We could also add with a white a little bit of snow on that before we blend it. So go over with the white and add so some so little stains on the branches here with the white. Because I want to blend that a little bit and make it a little bit more blurry. And then take a cotton swab again and swipe over it gently. Make that one a little bit more blurry. And then take a really uh, a black and add here one. Move again the pencil so to the left, to the right in zigzag and let some of these branches you overlap the tree in the back bringing in here maybe make that a little bit larger press a little bit more add here really a lot of black here below and let that tree here come really into the forefront okay here we can bring in a bit more of the the black bring that tree here into the forefront and uh maybe blend a little bit over it with the paper stamp You can also use for sure a soft pastel stick for even darken down the lower part a bit or make some of these parts on the tree a little bit darker. And also bring in a little bit of our turquoise on that tree so that it's not only black. Bringing in some little so needles, details with our turquoise and then I take a sharp black again, sharpen it and try to add some more little details maybe here, so little teeny tiny little lines to the right here, the more patient you are, for sure, the better. Bringing in some little parts on that larger tree here. Moving the pencils a little bit upwards and downwards. Also here on the left. So that we have here these branches that are going to the left and then let's take a white pencil and add a bit snow on top of them here we could also take a white stick for example and add maybe here so with some little dots a bit snow on them so that we go in here and add some so little dots on top of all the branches of the tree here. 
and just add a little bit of snow with the edges of your stick and then work for more details a little bit with the pencil or swipe over with the pencil and blend it a little bit to create a bit of a snow on that tree the same on the other tree so that you take the soft pastel white and add here a bit of snow on top of the branches also on the other side here or you work with the, the soft pastel pencil and add here a bit snow with the pencil I just sharpen it a bit so that we go in here maybe move it over in some little circles and add a bit of snow on top of these little trees or so teeny tiny little dots to brighten up the parts here inside of the tr trees and you see then so little lights coming through shining through the trees just refine it a little bit with the pencil if you don't want to have the snow so here so hard you can add with the pencil some little strokes in white or little dots on top you can also add some little strokes little white lines on the tree itself here okay sometimes when you press more the carpothellos really break easily yes maybe make that little tree also a little bit larger here with some details on top Make it darker in the middle or below the snow again. You can play a bit with the black. Okay, here I also add a bit more black on that one. And here are some little details. Okay, and then what I would say, let's also add here one of these darker ones that we bring in, for example, here. Let some tree branches come from the edge here and let that overlap, plotting in here a bit of a darker black tree. Blend it with the paper stamp a bit. Make it a bit blurry at the bottom here. Add some little details with the black pencil. So short little strokes. And with white, then add a bit of snow on top with a white soft pastel stick. Use the edges for the snow. You can also push the pigment so a little bit into the paper and use the little dots that you have on the finger here also to create a bit of a snowy look and that would also work here that you go over and add a bit more snow with the stick so a bit in a painterly look and then go over with the finger really push the pigment into the paper and create so some little snow flakes with the finger Okay, 
Then let's draw the water. For that, let's use a blue. Let's work with a stick and add a bit of water here. So always let draw the blue inside these triangles that we have left here free where the water is here coming into these spaces between the river banks plot in here the blue and plot it in from the left of course to the right not up, upwards downwards Plot it in so in horizontal lines and then take these blending tools and blend it also so from the left to the right blend the blue blend it here make it blurry and bring the pigment over the whole water area here. Plot it in or blend it well with the blending soft tool. You can also use cotton swaps or the paper stamp for blending that. And then I will also add a little bit of a turquoise color. Go over with a pencil, just add another layer with a bit turquoise so from the left to the right and plot in a little bit of a turquoise color here. Mix in different colors into your water. Take then a dark blue. So let's take a dark indigo and here that tree that makes a shadow. Let's darken down the water a little bit here below. We have here a shadow of that larger tree and also here will be a bit of a, a, a reflection, better a reflection, not a shadow in that case in the water. Bring in a bit of dark blue. I also bring in here a bit of dark blue at the edges. And then blend over with that blending tool here gently. Make it here a bit darker. So bring in all different colors into that water. For sure we also need a lighter color. Go in with a light blue here and add in the middle. Let's go. Let's we will go a little bit more backwards here. Let's bring in the middle a lighter layer of a light blue. Add here some strokes from left to the right here with the light blue. Maybe also here between the dark reflections. Swipe over here carefully with your light blue Carputhello. This is working really well to, to create your water with the Carputhellos. They are so soft, you can really blend them well and swipe so forwards and backwards and create here a bit of water. I go in in the back here also with the turquoise a bit. Let the river go here backwards and add a bit black here where the, the, the river banks are. Or dark blue in that case. It's more far away. Can be a bit dark blue and blend it here a bit more far away. I also blend a little bit over the black river banks. We will go over them then later. Let's then take the dark blue and go again over it with some fine, very fine dark blue lines. 
lines here where we have the reflection again of that tree. Move it here from the left to the right and bring in some reflections. Also here the water can be a bit darker here. Bring in some darker lines towards the middle here. Also here I bring in a bit more of the dark blue. Here and there some dark blue lines and blend it a bit gently with the finger. You can just go over and make it soft with the finger. Then go in with the white and add also with very little pressure here a bit of white in the middle. Use the white for brightening up the water or add here and there a bit of a more longer white stroke that is going here to the right or to the left. Let's add here a white. Just move the pencil so from the left to the right and back. Words, brighten up sometimes some parts in the water here a bit more. Maybe let it make make it a bit lighter here in front of us. In the middle, especially most times in the middle we have here light. Let's make it a bit lighter in the middle and then blend over it really well. And brighten up the whole river here a bit with the white and give it a bit of a brighter blue. Or go over with the turquoise a bit and color it a little bit more so greenish turquoise. Okay, then take the white and add some more brilliant white lines. Start with a little pressure and add and with fine lines here so little. Create some little so waves. Bringing in here some of these white little waves. Depending is that a, a, a more a calm river or are there more waves in there? Is it more like a lake or is it more wild? Here we could also add then a bit more of this snow on top of these little stones or islands we have here in and bringing us here so some little waves Press a little bit more that they are showing up then better. Let's add here a line. I sharpen on the white pencil. So then when we have then drawn these white lines you could start bringing in here a bit white snow on top of the river banks. So drawing in here, so little triangles. Also here in the back a bit, we have here snow. Maybe also let's add some strokes. So little bushes up and down with the white where snow is on them. Make that a little bit blurry here in the back. Move over with the white, but add a little bit of land and snow here. Here too, let's plot in the white. Here we have the river banks. Add here on the white, so really into the waters. Here we could work then for the white snow around with a better with a stick here near the water. We can 
work here well with the pencil but you could take a white stick like the Rembrandt here and plot in the white here around with the stick add a bit of snow everywhere also here let's bring in white add here a bit of snow also here above bringing snow and use a blending tool here for blending it a bit we can bring in also a little bit blue we have on the blending tool and bring it into the snow or pick up a bit blue from the river and just bring it in into the snow here in the back a bit and blend also here and the white a bit together with the little black here we have here in the back we can add here a bit shadow in front of the trees and here the snow also does not have to be too white at the beginning we will for sure bring in here also some shadows into the snow go over again just create a more so a blurry underpainting we can also here maybe go in with the pencil a bit where we have the snow on the trees and add here and there some details but we will do that later what i want to do is here with this pencil add some so little grasses with the white also sharpen it from time to time that you can create nice little lines that are overlapping here in the black you could also go in a bit with the blue here at the bottom add a bit turquoise blue here at the bottom also we have to bring in some shadows here on the snow itself we could also work a bit with a yellow here bring in a bit of a warm yellow color into the snow also so near the river banks that it is a bit yellowish let's also add a bit of the yellow snow here we add here for sure more details but bring in some different colors in the snow snow is not always just white we need here some different colors maybe also a bit ochre that we here maybe see this is too yellowish let's take a bit more of a brown or ochre this one it is uh, the bista maybe add on the river banks a little bit brown here not only black to make that a little bit more colorful or below the trees we have also here sometimes a little bit earth that we see so bring in a bit of a bista and ochre brown also here in front that we add here also so a little bit vista color in the snow and blend that either you can blend it also with the finger a bit or with that blending tool here below swipe over in the circles then go in with the white again and i add here some more so grasses uh, with snow on top in the back it is so a grass with snow also press a bit more use short very short little lines for very short grass and longer lines for longer grass here it's really so far away 
let's also add here so far away some little details where we have the snow not so detailed like here more in the foreground let's also add here some bushes or so little grass let's go in with a turquoise or a blue carefully between or below and add a bit shadow we can also go in with uh, the darker helio green a bit and add some little strokes use cold colors for that winter scene or blue here bringing dark blue near the trees we can also add a bit dark blue on the trees itself into the black here bringing dark blue between those little grass areas just to bring in contrast here and add some details also on the land that it is not just so a, a snow bringing some shadows also on the land here it's more a, a smooth land we can also bring in the blue here where we have the river banks we have to add here then more contrast always here shadow where the river banks are and in here a bit of the blue and also add here maybe a bit blue in the snow blend that that there are some so blue stains in the snow always also blend over the back part here with the blending tool let's add uh, then with the black in the river bank some more details so I take the black and sharpen it and I like to refine it so it's totally up to your style but let's refine it a bit more so bring in here a bit more black here where we have these river banks bringing some strokes into the water or some little dots on the river banks darken them down here and also add then here a bit black below and add maybe so little waves in black into the water Darken this river bank here down. Adding finer lines into our snow area. Bringing here also a bit of black. We have here these river banks where the snow is then overlapping, darken them down, add some little black lines into the water, darken them down here, also here, bring in a bit more shadow. Yes, and then go over again with a white and brighten up the snow a little bit. Maybe let here some snow overlap, go into the river and plot in here a bit more snow in, in the front part. Add here a bit more snow. Use the sticks or use the pencil. Add here a bit more white, also so near the river a bit, and more towards here the, the left. Plot in a little bit wider on these little river islands too. And add details with the pencil. 
I let it here a bit more go to the tips here go it into the water and add then here and there also here more of these white little lines or add here a bit of a stone in the water with white and a little bit dark below you can also swipe over with the pencil We'll use the white pencil then here for blending the lower part of that tree a bit or add also here some more details with the, the branches and the snow that we put here some smaller little white little strokes on the tree these little uh, trees in the back they are more blurry also refine them a little bit with a little pressure and the white pencil here in the back or add with the white also here some little dots or details on that tree here take a bit time for refining your drawing maybe add here some little grasses that are here overlapping the tree also here and again here is also a bit land coming from the left and here this part we can also refine a bit and add maybe a little bit brown and a bit land here also a bit shadow into uh, the river so that we have here again a bit more shadow with the black and blend that we could also add here some, some white little um, light little grasses or add some grasses with brown here that are overlapping in the river let's add some more details into your landscape maybe here let's come up up some grasses with ochre also here not after everything is under the snow let's add some grasses with ochre Maybe also bringing a bit of a darker brown or another brown tone and also a bit with black here. Let's also add some black little strokes here more far away or here. Add a bit of contrast with the black here far away. Also here we could add some ochre. A little ochre. I like to use the blues to give that so a winter cold look, but blot in also a bit ochre here. Fine little ochre strokes in the back. We can also so swipe over a little bit with the ochre. But this is not so, let's see, smooth. Add here some little grasses. Here you can play a bit also add then some white strokes on the grasses they are frozen it is very cold here add with the white some little grasses and play a bit around create your own winter landscape here so add white strokes also let here some little white lines overlap the river Maybe also here on these little um, 
islands there are little so grasses and here some more frozen white strokes you know it is very cold here you can also let here overlap a little bit of these plants here you can make it so a bit more realistic if you have the patience or you let it a little bit painterly we could move here the white over and just make it here behind foggy and blurry you can add details on that tree or blend it a little bit more here in the back or add also a bit snow on them or add again more details on that snowy tree here also a bit more so broader lines to create that snowy look here and also some more white grasses here Here we could add a bit of snow by pressing the pencil a bit more and bringing in a bit more snow here to the river banks and also blend it, make it blurry, make that area that is here more far away also a bit brighter. Maybe I brighten up here the middle part in the water a little bit. Yes, maybe add here on the trees itself again a little bit so more snow or bring in some little so strokes with the white make the, the tree a bit more dense or just refine it by adding here and there some little strokes with the white. Snow is on them here. Okay, and then, um, yes, it's coming more and more together. I would say I add here a bit more black below. Add here and there some fine details. Maybe, um, Yes, what we could do, let's add here a bit of a larger so bush coming here over the, the front edge and let it overlap. That always makes so a realistic look. Here is a larger uh, bush in front of us. Let's draw that with some thinner branches here and some shorter little branches here, these trunks just add so a bit of a very um, you can press a bit more to make the lower parts the trunks a bit broader you can also go in a bit with a, a brown that it's not only black add here a bit with brown brown colors on them and then I would also add a bit snow on top of them so that we go over with the white so I sharpen the white and then let's add some a bit snow on top of it sharpen it a bit so that we for example go over here with so a bit with the white and add a bit snow on these little branches or add some little dots on top of them that it looks like there is snow on them add some little dots so here so that it looks like they are so a bit frozen and that there is snow on them 
Okay, press a bit and add here the white, so some whites, so a little wavy lines or little dots to create that snowy look here. Okay, yes, and then you can maybe add here behind some little white little strokes again or add here and there some details. Use the white for blending. I add here some little grasses. Yes, maybe I go in here once more a bit with a blue that I have a bit contrast where these little grasses here are growing and go over with the white again for the snow. Okay. I add also here some little blue strokes once more. Bringing in always, always bringing with a little pressure here and there, a bit of contrast. That's also good. Okay, what we can do then finally to add snowflakes. Let it snow. Draw with your pencil here some loose, a bit larger dots on top. So rotate it and draw so larger snowflakes. Just let them here so coming down here also over the trees. I will do it with the other hand that you see that in the video. Just think that these snowflakes are coming from above downwards and then also add some smaller little dots here over the trees. Not all are large. Add smaller little dots here too. Bringing in these little snowflakes also on the darker trees here, over the snow, over everything that it really looks like. The snow is here coming downwards. Don't forget to add them also over the white snow. Really press there a lot. That it looks like we have here snow falling down. Add more over the trees that are so far away. And also here over the sky. You can also um, sharpen the pencil and add really with a sharp pencil then some small little snowflakes that we just add here so very teeny tiny dots too but let them all be so loose fall them down here and we also have here these snowflakes that are we have here. Does that not look beautiful? Such a nice landscape with all the snowflakes here falling down. I love that. Add here and there some details if you would like and just refine it. Also add some snowflakes directly on the trees here. So a bit more, press a bit more for these a little bit more brilliant little dots here. Some can be really a bit larger. And some should be a bit smaller. Okay, then finally let's sign it here. I think we have created a beautiful winter landscape here. Just refine it if you would like to have more details, but I think I'm very satisfied with that here. I'm curious about what you are creating and I hope you have liked that lesson of drawing a winter landscape. 
Okay, so I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. Write me below in the comments how you found it, if you have any questions. And if you would like to join my online drawing school, my drawing community Animal Art Club, where I teach you how to draw realistic animal portraits with pastels, here you find the link to the waitlist. And here is another advent calendar video. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then I hope I see you tomorrow in the next advent calendar video. Enjoy drawing! Have a great day! Bye bye!